one, one, Legacy one, Maker, one, the All Sports one, Network. One, 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 one. Welcome to the one on one, one on one. When, when it comes to ratings, man, we number one. We number one. I get the truth, truth. Then I give them the scoop. Hey. If anybody got a question, I give them hey. the proof. Hey. Welcome to the one on one. When it comes to ratings, man, we number one. We number one. I get the truth, truth. Then I give them the scoop. Hey. If anybody got a question, I give them hey. the proof. Hey. Hey. Welcome to one on one at Legacy Lake Sports Network. Hello, everybody. Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network, and welcome to a special edition of One on One here on the Legacy Maker Sports Network. And today we're going to bring you uh, the first of our four part series of season previews of teams here, of teams here right here in the 804. We're going to do VCU men, VCU women. Uh, Richmond men and of course Richmond women's basketball teams but today we're bringing you the Richmond women's basketball team led by coach Aaron Roussel who's entering his second season as the head coach of this team now this team went 15 and 17 last year and most people would look at that and say well how good is that really but this team has come a long way and you can see the attitude change in this team since uh, coach Aaron Russell has taken over. Well, today we get an opportunity to sit down with coach Aaron Russell, as well as Alex Parson, senior, Clara Holt, the junior, and sophomore Elena Chapman. Hope y'all enjoy this preview of the Richmond women's basketball team. I'm Darrell, o- Darrell Owens. I can't even say my name right. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> this is Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network. Enjoy the preview. Hello, everybody. Darrell Lawrence, Legacy Maker Sports Network, and we are here for a special edition of One on One. Now, last year, if you all remember, we had our season previews of some of the teams that we hold near and dear to our heart that we cover on a pretty much on a day to day basis. Uh, and today I have with me Coach Aaron Russell, the head coach of the Richmond Spiders women's basketball team. And this is our Richmond Spiders, Richmond Spiders, excuse me, Richmond Spiders uh season preview. I'm very excited to have you, Coach Purcell. How's everything going? Things are going well. We, uh, we're still in the old offices right now. I was going to tell you, I think uh, hopefully the next time we talk uh, either in person, we'll be in the new offices or virtually we'll probably have a different background here. Uh, yeah, soon. I, heard, I heard it's looking really nice. I heard yeah. it's looking really nice. Hoping in the next month that we'll be in, a, in our new digs. Awesome, awesome. Well, of course, you know, we all start one-on-one with the check-in. And I'm just going to check in on you, Coach, how things have been going. It's been about six months, I think, since we all last had a chance to speak. How are things going? Things are going well. You know, obviously there's been a lot of uncertainty, which I think can be unnerving for, for really everybody. Uh, you know, from a team standpoint, you know, our, our kids, you know, it was a little, I say touch and go, but, you know, it was not fun to, to do this. Um, the, the, spring, the spring semester, I mean, the way that that ended, obviously, was a little bit difficult from a school standpoint, not having workouts. You know, but, but our administrators were fantastic. I, I think they really were, were kind of out ahead of this. And, uh, you know, we were able to get uh, our kids back on campus in the middle of July, brought them back very slowly. You know, it, it was a lot of just stuff outside. Uh, I think we were very, very conscientious and very, very uh, deliberate in, in how we were going about this. We progressed maybe 10 to go one on O, uh, and then small groups, maybe, you know, kind of the, the beginning of, of August there. Um, and now here just recently, we've got our full team back in the gym and, and things have been great. You know, I think from a university standpoint, uh, our, our school's been really, really good with things. Uh, from a department standpoint, we've been pretty much next to nothing uh, on positive tests. And, and for our team, I, I think they've been, they've been great. You know, and some of that is they have, they've got some skin in the game, so to speak. Um, but I think uh, behavior-wise and, and how smart they've been, uh, I, I really have to commend them. That's awesome. Now, you spoke about uh, getting back in the gym, getting back, uh, in, I guess, into camp. How's camp going so far as you get prepped for uh, season two? Yeah, yeah, it's always different once you start getting going five-on-five five and, and playing basketball conditioning is always different than normal conditioning. But I think probably every coach in America, you're always worried about your team, no matter the culture, no matter how many years that you've kind of been with that group. For us, it was really only one year. You know, we had never really had a true off season with this group. So, you know, not that you're questioning how much, you know, but your kids are putting into it. But at the same point, they had every excuse in the world to kind of 
slack off, take some time off with, with the pandemic and everything else going on. And I don't know that I've been more pleased uh, with the group in the off season before, you know, everybody has improved both from a conditioning standpoint, from a basketball standpoint. And this was a hard summer uh, and able to, to be able to maintain all of that stuff. And, you know, I, I feel better about our team than I probably even could have imagined, you know, a couple months ago. Now, you know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, uh, that everything has been going and rock and rolling pretty smooth. Now, is there this, is there any one player that you've seen so far in camp that maybe not, oh, they're just blowing it away or whatever, but that one person that you can't wait to see on the floor because of maybe the work ethic that they've put in so far during camp? Yeah, there, there, there's a lot of them, but I think probably starts at the top with Alex Parsons, you know, being the, uh, you know, being a senior, you know, there's a lot going on in Alex's world. You know, she just uh, just tackled the MCAT, you know, and I think a lot of times, especially at high academic schools, you, you get to see senior and you're thinking about a lot of other things besides basketball and sometimes with good reason. And, you know, she's, she's local, um, you know, maybe had a little more access to some things uh, in, in whatever we're calling that off season, but just from a leadership standpoint, from uh, being comfortable on the basketball court or shooting, conditioning, fitness, um, kind of how she's managing the, the roster, managing the team with everything else she has going on. That, that, that's a huge credit to her. I mean, not that it's surprising, um, but, but I think she's been fantastic. And, and really the, the, the rest of the crew too. But, you know, I think Claire Holt kind of came along last year. I thought she had a good chance of being maybe the, the most improved player in the conference last year. And she's even taken off even more than that. You know, she's in the gym quite a bit and, Gotten a lot stronger. I think that's been very noticeable. Uh, conditioning is there, and, and she's just shooting the lights out right now. Now, also, you had a very impressive freshman class come in, and we talked about that a little bit the last time we had you on one on one. But uh, you, the class is uh, you have you got a pretty big uh, freshman class coming in. How are they adjusting to life um, uh, at Richmond? Yeah, it's interesting. I think as a freshman, you don't know any better. You know, you don't know what college life was like before all this. Uh, different precautions that have been going on. They've been great. You know, they, they've, they've been, you know, from just from a workout standpoint when we've kind of been in the gym with them, skill level, the work ethic has all been there. You know, as you start getting in the, the, the newness, right, you start implementing some things with the offense. I think there's a little bit of more of a wide-eyed and, you know, not that they've taken a step back by any stretch, but I think once you start adding things to that, I think it's always hard uh, for, for a freshman and especially with a bigger group that we have. But I, I think even our older kids have noticed that their, their basketball IQ for our, our freshmen have been very, very high. So I don't feel like we've had to slow things down. I don't think uh, they've been kind of dragging behind. They, they've been fantastic. And, and I think I'm really excited for everybody else to get to see uh, what these guys bring to the table. Now, Coach, one thing that we talked about last year during this preview uh, was uh, culture change. How do you feel like the culture change has uh, progressed from that time last year to now? Do you feel like things are on the right track? I, I couldn't speak highly, uh, even what our group is doing right now. And that goes back to last year's seniors. I, I think they laid the groundwork and uh, we're, we're really, I think we're, it was important to them that, that culture was changed. They kind of, well, we'll use the legacy word right there, the legacy that they left behind. How about, how about that for some branding? There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, this group, I mean, basketball has really meant something to them. And they've talked about wanting to leave a legacy. They've talked about wanting to improve and not necessarily just in baby steps. You know, I, I, there's no question that we got better last year. Um, but at some point here, we want to take a bigger jump. And that's going to be hard in, in this year's A-10. It's a very, very strong conference with a, with a lot of returning talent but, but this group really has worked at it and, and I'm very proud of, of where we are right now. Now coach before we get off of here we got to ask you about your team goals for the season and of course you know uh, last year I, we, we talked about you know growing that you know making sure you take care of things at home but what, what are your team goals heading into this season and and, and what are your um, your best hopes going into this season? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know how much we've talked about that. And, that, you know, as a group, as a coach, I don't know how much I've ever talked about just having goals. You know, I think that's something that we, we don't talk a lot about goals. But at the same point, and this year, maybe more than any other, it's, it's thinking about March, at, le at least right now. You know, once the, once the ball goes up, we start games. We're just thinking about getting better with that next game. But right now, you don't know what's going to happen in October. You don't know what's going to happen in November. So we as a team just constantly talked about, hey, we're doing these things to get ready for March, you know, and, and hopefully this is a group that will get better. Uh, no reason to think that it won't. Uh, 
um, that, that will get better as the season progresses. Um, but with a young team like this, I want this group to have a chance to beat anybody in our conference in March. And I think looking at it, like I said, it's a really, really tough league this year. But I, I feel it's a very, very talented group. And if we can put some things together, we'll have just as good a chance to, as anybody else to, to beat everybody else in our league uh, come March. Now, one of the good things about that this year is that the tournament is going to be held at VCU. So we're going to be kind of close to the action here. So you don't have to worry about traveling so far. You get to stay at home. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And again, you know, we, we've talked a lot about the uncertainty and, you know, the, the plan right now is just to make that, uh, to, to have that tournament here. And, and, and I don't see any reason why we want to still be able to do that. You know, I, I don't know how much you're, as being over here at Richmond, how much you're always excited to go over to VCU. Uh, but if we're not playing in our own home gym, I think that's probably the next best option uh, for, for our fans to, to get over there. Awesome. Everybody, that's Coach Aaron Russell, head coach of the Richmond Spiders women's basketball team, joining us here on One on One. Thank you, Coach Russell. Talk to you later. Thank you. Appreciate it, Darrell. Hello, everybody. Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network. And this is one-on-one -on -one as we continue to preview the Richmond Spiders women's basketball team. And now we have with us sophomore Elena Chapman. Elena, how are you doing today? I'm doing good today. How are you doing? You know, I'm doing fine, Elena. I really can't complain. You know, I really can't complain. You're getting a little bit closer to the basketball season. You can feel it in your bones. Yeah, I can. I feel like it's so close yet so far. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. But before you know it, who knows? It'll probably be November before you know it. It'll probably. be like, bam. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So before we get going, of course, we always like to start with the check-in. So we want to check in on uh, you and your family, how you guys have been handling COVID, how you've been handling COVID, uh, trying to keep things going uh, during these crazy times. Um, my family is doing really good. Uh, my sister just started her senior year of high school um, a couple weeks ago, so that's good. And COVID, I feel like I really enjoyed that time just to, like, work on myself and just spend time with family. I feel like I just really needed that refresher and that just cool down period. And I just feel like I'm more thankful for a lot of things that I wasn't, like, before, like, kind of opened my eyes and, like, I needed that experience. That's awesome. I, I mean, you know, it's crazy because I told uh, someone before, I was like, the, the family time that I've gotten to spend during COVID, uh, you know, you're, you're at work, you're always running, you're doing this. And I'm like, man, getting to be able to sit back and spend this time with family has been amazing. Uh, they started, my kids started getting on my nerves. But besides <laughs> that, it was definitely fun. <laughs> now, uh, you know, sophomore season, you're ending the sophomore season. Just give us a little bit of a recap of that first season. How, you know, coming into uh, Richmond and, you know, you know, adjusting to college life and college ball. Uh, just give us a thought and a recap of your first uh, season here at Richmond. I feel like my freshman season, I was really focusing on getting used to the pace of college basketball compared to high school basketball. Mm -hmm. And then I was also getting used to just being able to play with, like, all these great players when, like, high school, like, some games were easy and, like, blowouts. But, like, here was a lot of great competition. I was getting used to being able to just compete every single game and get used to that fast pace that we like to play here at Richmond. Yeah, I mean, last season, uh, definitely got a chance to see you uh, grow leaps and bounds. Really enjoyed uh, watching you ladies on the court last year. Now, uh, I'm, I know that you just recently kind of got back into camp, and and, and you and y'all have been working out. I've uh, been able to check that out on Twitter, see y'all uh, uh, doing things there. Uh, tell us how camp is going so far. Uh, camp is going really good so far. Um, it's a lot different. You don't really see a lot of people anymore. All my class are online. Um, workouts started off a little weird. It was only individual. You didn't really see your teammates unless you like saw them in D Hall or something. But now that we got all this clearance now and got all our tests back, um, we're able to start uh, group workouts now. So that's been really nice. Um, but it's a lot different this year just because a lot of social distancing has to happen. It's a lot a slower pace than it would be last year exactly i mean it, it's uh i know that uh, y'all are probably working really hard out there in camp uh but is there anybody in camp that you said so far you look at them and say man i can't wait to see this person in action can't wait to see them on the floor during the season is there any one of your teammates that you just are kind of excited to see hit the floor 
I really tend to choose a particular person. It's probably the whole team just because I feel like everybody came back so much different, like with a lot of hunger and like they've been working on themselves during quarantine. So I'm just really excited to see everybody on the court. Everybody's been impressing me at practice, been showing new moves and everything. So I'm just excited to see everybody on the team play this year. Awesome. Awesome. And I have to ask you this, um, you know, entering this sophomore year, I mean, you had a really, really great career in high school. Um, you, you were one of those players that a lot of people, a lot of teams and a lot of uh, were looking at. And, you know, now that you're into your sophomore year in Richmond, uh, do you have, uh, can you give us some of your personal goals and give us some of those team goals that you have uh, going into uh, this season? Um, I say some of the team goals would be um, probably to, like, have better pride in our defense. I feel like last season we kind of was sometimes lack on the defense, and I feel like now we're taking a lot of pride in that just because, like, just changing defense can change the outcomes of a lot of games that we had last year. And I feel like another one is just continue to improve our record because last year we had a huge improvement of our record from previous years. I feel like this year we're just – but like the sky's the limit, like we could just do anything when we just come together and just work hard together. And I'll say one of my personal goals, I think I'm putting a huge emphasis on being a leader. I feel like I'm a very quiet person, so I really try to step outside of my shell and just be more of a leader on the court and talk more to my teammates and just be there for my teammates a lot more than I was last year. Well, Elena, before we go, one last thing here. Do you have a message for Spider Nation about this season? Uh, I just want to say get ready for us. Um, we have a lot in store this year. We're all looking really good this season, and I'm excited for what y'all about to see on the court. All right, everybody. That's Elena Chapman, sophomore at Richmond, uh, at the Richmond University, uh, part of the Spiders women's basketball team. Elena, thank you for coming on. Everybody, this has been the Richmond Spiders women's basketball preview. I'm Darrell Lawrence. This is the Legacy Maker Sports Network, and this is One on One. Hello, everybody. Darrell Lawrence, Legacy Maker Sports Network, and we continue our one on one previews of the Richmond Spiders women's basketball team. We've had Coach Russell, we've had uh, Alex Parson, and now we have the wonderful Clara Holt. Clara, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, Claire. Uh, glad to have you on as we preview uh, the team for the beginning of, uh, well, we're hopefully uh, we're getting ready for the season that's coming up here. As long as nothing crazy happens between now and then, <laughs> we should be good to go. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking forward to it. All right. So we'll, we'll get started. We'll always get started with the check-in. So we want to check in on you, see how you and how your family have been doing with everything going on with COVID, can you just uh, let us know how things have been going on with you and your family? Um, my family's been well, they're all healthy so far. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, with me here, we just had to get used to some different university policies about where we can be, trying to like limit our off campus, like travel. Um, we spend a lot of times in our room, like on Zoom classes or eating or um, like our whole process of how campus works has changed. So just getting used to that and trying to like still find stuff that's safe, but like fun to do um, on the weekends and stuff. Like we can be outside together um, and like socialize there, but like we really have to get creative. But um, other than that, <laughs> I've been good and healthy so far. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now the last two seasons have been, um, very exciting seasons for you. You've really come a long way, at least in my eyes. I've seen uh, some greatness on your end the last couple of years. Uh, now you're entering your junior year. Uh, can you give us a recap of your first two years in Richmond and just how how you've been, how you've, um, I guess you can say, enjoyed your time while you've been here so far? Sure. Um, I guess freshman year, I uh, had some trouble getting used to like the speed of college play. Um, like the physicality, how moves that work in high school don't work in college anymore. So I kind of like had to like get the hang of what works here and what my and my specific strengths would be. And so as a um, freshman year went on, I got better at uh, like working in our system, and uh, I just like really locked in on 
uh, being in the gym a lot and um, t working with my coaches and watching film a lot. And then once we moved to our current staff, my sophomore year, I really fit well with their style of play and um, Coach Russell's like coaching style really got through to me. So um, I was able to like shoot well and I was able to run the point and run shooting guard more where I was used to running a lot of point guard. Um, so that really fit me well. I really enjoyed like our, our last season of play. I really enjoyed it. We were competing in a lot of games. I was getting to play a lot and contribute a lot. Um, so yeah, it was really exciting. And hopefully year three is like tops up. So how, how's camp going so far? I know y'all have been working out, uh, been watching on Twitter, seeing that y'all are starting to grind. How has camp um, gone so far? It's good. It's so nice to play against people. Like all of quarantine, like I'm with my dad, like shooting hoops, like at an outdoor hoop. But we finally came back and when we finally got that first team practice, we can finally go head to head with the girls, like against the new freshmen and get them used to our system. And it's just been fun. And a lot of the times really competitive and energetic because I mean, we're happy to be back and we're just like kind of um, grateful to have the opportunity. I mean, you know, people's like seasons have been getting cut short. So we were we're just glad to be here. But it is exhausting um, right now. We have not like uh, we're not overloaded with a lot of stuff right now. But this when we are together, we're like going really hard. So to <laughs> that trying to get every bit in your kid. Has there been a player uh, or one of your teammates that have impressed you um, so far uh, that one person, maybe not the flash, but is there someone who's just really impressed you? You said, man, I can't wait to see them on the court. Um, I really was impressed by Grace, our, uh, one of our freshmen. She's local from Richmond. We didn't get the chance to meet her at all before she committed here. Yeah. Um, but she just showed up and we met her like the, on the first day that we moved in and she is so um, she's so fast like she's really fast it's hard for us to guard um, she can she can facilitate well uh, jump stops pass but can still score on her own so she's really opened up the floor for us so I'm excited to see how she looks on a college floor awesome and last one for you Claire we're entering that your junior season, this 2021 year. What are your personal goals and team goals uh, as you head into this season? Uh, personally, I want to be like, I want to be one of the top five um, three-point shooters in the league. Um, I love shooting threes. I've been like focusing on that this past uh, off season. And I kind of was around there before. So I really want to get like, I want to be a shooter. I want to, I want people to have to come out to guard me. Um, and then for my team, we just, we want to compete. We want to compete against the best teams and play to be the best team. Like we were kind of um, in the middle of the pack at one point and we were competing against um, like Duquesne, Davidson, playing to win and winning. And that was such a great feeling. So we need to like um, solidify and kind of like advance on where we finished last year. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Claire Holt. Richmond Spiders women's basketball team. Claire, cannot wait to see you play this season. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. No problem. Hello, everybody. Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network. And this is one-on-one -on -one here on the Legacy Maker Sports Network. And this is another one of our interviews for our uh, Richmond Spiders women's basketball preview uh, and we truly appreciate you all for tuning in. And with me today, I have senior guard, Alex Parson. Now, when I first started, Parsons, you've heard it all. Parsons, uh, person, you probably heard a little bit of everything. But over the years, I've, I've had the opportunity to get a chance to cover this young lady and all the phenomenal things she's done. Alex, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Awesome, awesome. And of course, before we get rocking and rolling, we got to start with check-in. Just checking in on you and your family uh, during these crazy times with COVID and uh, social injustice. You name it. A little bit of everything has happened over these uh, uh, over the last six months. Uh, just tell us how you and your family are doing during these crazy times. Uh, we're doing well, I would say. You know, uh, quarantine was a little difficult with uh, 
adult children being at home, but, um, you know, we managed and then just staying sane during, during this period of injustice, you know, it's nothing new, but, uh, just basically being able to talk with my parents, you know, explain to them how I'm feeling and then just having those conversations and stuff like that. So. Uh, that's a good deal. I mean, I'm glad that, you know, you're able to have that, that comfort and, and being able to go to your parents. And like I said, I think the thing, another big thing for everybody during this, during this time, they've been kind of able to just to like spend that quality family time that a lot of people haven't had, you know, like you're busy, you're always at school, but now you get a whole bunch of family time. That had to be nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's the word. It was, it was a, little <laughs> long, a little too long at home, but you know, we, we managed and uh, you know, we're doing well. So. Now, last season, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of a, a transition, you know, uh, with Coach, especially with Coach Russell coming in. Um, can you give us a quick recap of last season, how you felt things went last season, uh, and just give us an insight on how you think uh, camp is going so far? Um, I mean, last season, uh, it was an improvement from the year prior, but uh, not as well as we had like, hoped for. But I think this year we're looking really strong. You know, we have great freshmen uh, who are just really doing their thing out there on the court. Um, we're working, we're really working hard, you know. Uh, can't wait for, you know, that first practice, feel that energy on the court. So I just can't wait. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something I know we're excited about. Uh, and I can't, can't wait to see you ladies on the floor. It's going to be an amazing uh, time. Now, um, has coach pressed y'all hard during camp? I mean, is he, is he been kind of nice to you or you feel like he's been, he's, he's tuned up the pressure just a little bit as we get close to the season? Um, I would say coach Roussel has always, uh, had the same vibe almost. Um, you know, he, he pushes us. That's, that's his big thing. So whether we're about to start practice or, you know, end of the season type of stuff, uh, he's going to push us, he pushes us hard, but you know, at the end, you know, it only benefits us. So, yeah, that, you know, in my book, he's a top flight guy. I, I have nothing bad I can say about Coach. He's one of the nicest uh, people that I've ever come across. I, I, I love the guy. I absolutely love the guy. He's great. He's yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there anybody in camp so far that has impressed you? Maybe someone that you say, man, I can't wait to see this person on the court this year and see what they can bring to the table. Has there been anybody that has impressed you so far? Uh, I think. Maya, definitely, she's, uh, you know, getting used to using her size. She's very long. Um, just, you know, she's rebounding for us. She's posting up, trying to get those seals. Um, actually, all of them. Kylie is very long. I think she's still trying to figure out uh, our offense and whatnot, but she, she has that length on her, and she's, I mean, you know, she can finish. Uh, Grace, Grace is super quick. Uh, she's, you know, she has that IQ there. It's there. Um, her ability to pass, her ability to get to the basket, you know, stop on the dime, pull up, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, all of them really, like Addie, her outside shot, she's getting into the offense really well. Um, also, you know, posting up for us, getting those seals. And then Siobhan, uh, her length as, you, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty tall. <laughs> but her outside shot as well and just being able to, to get to the open spots and um she can also you know drive to the paint and finish very well so well you know talking to coach he feels really good about this season uh and, I, and you know with this being your senior year I know I know hate to keep throwing it in there but it's an exciting time uh you know it has to be an exciting time for you but as you enter your senior season what goals do you have personally and what goals do you have um, on, on a team front going into this season? Uh, personally, I would say just to be a force on the floor, you know, um, being very vocal with my team uh, in times where, you know, we kind of fall apart, just being able to pull everybody back together, have everybody mentally in the game. Um, and then as a team, uh, being able to, not fold under pressure. I think right. a lot of times we did at some point uh, in close games or uh, mainly like we had a lead and then we would just kind of fall apart or we, we would relax. And then towards the end of the game, now we where it's a close game and then, then we fall under pressure, you know, but uh, just being able to stay in the game and kind of have that sense of like unity together, like whether we're, 
losing the game, you know, lose together, win together, but, you know, we gave it our all. So. All right, everybody, you heard it. From the senior guard, Alex Parson, Richmond uh, Spiders women's basketball team. Alex, it has been an absolute pleasure over the last four years being able to cover you, and good luck on the season. Thank you, thank you. One, 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 one. Welcome to the one on one. One on one. When it comes to ratings, man, we number one. We number one. I get the truth, truth. Then I give them the scoop. If anybody got a question, I give them the proof. Welcome to the one on one. One on one.